If you want to know how to transform a basic lampshade into an adorable work of art, watch today's video. I have you covered. So today I'm going to show you how you can take a basic lampshade and macrame a super cute covering on it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a lampshade that has wires going from the top down to the bottom. And so this is what it looks like with covering on it. And so you really can't see the, the wires until you start feeling them. And so here's one uh, same shape. It's just a solid lampshade. Uh, but don't worry, I have plans for this kind of lampshade as well. So check back to the, the channel for what you can do with this lampshade. So today I'm going to show you how you can make this lampshade out of cotton twine. It only takes one knot. It's a macrame knot. It's called a square knot, but that's it. So you don't have to be a macrame pro to pull this craft off. So I'll take you through the steps. And this is a DIY craft you can do yourself. Okay, I'm just going to use simple cotton twine uh, for this project. This one happens to say it's number 16 cotton twine, which I really don't know what that means. It's just a nice weight uh, to make it uh, balance with the size of the shade. So I'm, um, if you're using a bigger shade, you might need to adjust uh, the cording and the lengths. But I'm going to show you how to do this lampshade and the measurements required. This one is roughly six inches tall. So you take that measurement and you take it times eight. So cut your cords 48 inches long. So I have those here and that's going to be generous because we're going to be um, having fringe on the end of this and uh, you'll be using the excess for that. So typically when we are joining our cords, let me show you how to join a cord the, um, the typical way. You bend it in half, match up your ends, and slip it under your wire and bring your tails through. So that's, the, that's what you're going to do for all of these, which we'll get to in a second. But the first step is to cover your wires with a twisting uh, square knot. And to make that happen, we're going to join your cord a little differently. Instead of finding the center, we're going to hold your cord and you're going to go from top to bottom on your cord and then add another Oh, three or four inches and that is your bend so we're going to pull the, your tails through that and it doesn't really matter but the short one right now should be to the center um, going along that that uh, post so you take your other one and we do the same thing just run it the same length of that add three or four inches and pull your tails through this one as well now you have your basics. So your short tail again is running along the side of here. Do a twisting square knot. Um, we are going to go around this bar. So you take your left cord, lay it over everything, lay it over the two um, short ones, your bar, take your right one, go over it, and then take your right one, go behind your bar and up through that loop on the side and draw it up. And to make it spiral, you start with the same side every time. So we're gonna always start with your left side on this one. So we're going to bring the left across the, um, all of it, your right across the one, your right behind everything, including the bar, and draw it up to the bottom of your last stitch. And what I have found, you can already see it's kind of um, getting a little loose there. The, the center two short ones, I just put a knot. It's going to be a temporary, but to keep them from getting in your way, just tie those to that bottom circle. There. And again, that's just to, to keep them out of your way. So now we're going to do the left again. The right goes behind everything. And you can see it's kind of twisting already. So 
So I'm just going to help it along and pull around the back side there. Now this is your left and you just keep doing the same thing. You can see how much faster it goes when you have those center cords tied out of the way. Okay, I'm down to the end. And so at this point, push up your twist and do a couple more knots just so that you can uh, get it down into the corner. So we'll do, let's do one more. And I like it nice and tight, this twist. So on this string here, I would probably cut it more like 60 inches um, for a six inch uh, lampshade. So now you just slide back down your twist. There it goes. And we're down to the bottom. And nothing fancy here. Just going to tie, I'm going to take off the knot of the temporary one. And then the two that you just finished, just put a little knot at the bottom. Okay, so now your wires are covered. And so that's step number one. You want to cover your wires because this uh, pattern will go down and meet up to those and it's a much cleaner look if your wire is covered first. Okay, so the next step is to attach uh, 12 of these cords to a section in between your wires. And so this one has one, two, three, four sections um, to this lampshade. So you're going to attach a dozen of the cords that are uh, 48 inches long into each section. So I have those attached to the top. Now we are going to do this pattern. We are going to do square knots down to a V and then we're going to make a diamond in the middle and then finish it off with square knots at the bottom. So to do that, to do a, a full square knot, we did the twisting square knot over here, but a full square knot, you need to take four cords, you divide them to have two in the center, one on each outside, so you have three sections. So here's how you do a full square knot. So we're going to take the left one over both, the right one over that, and the right behind both, just like you did before. But now you do the opposite side. You go right over the center two, left over that one, and left behind both, and through that loop, and pull it up. So a square knot takes two um, motions. The left one goes over and the right one goes over. And to know which side you do next, if you're, you get distracted or confused, this string goes out of the back of that knot. That tells you that's the next cord that goes. So if you get um, distracted, that's how you tell what your next cord. So we're going to take the next two. So we have, this is one cord and this is the other. And we're going to do that all the way across. So when you're done with this, you should have six square knots across the top ring. Okay, here's the last one on the top row. And just spread them out evenly. So there's six square knots. And so now what you're going to do, you're going to connect these. So to do this, row number two, we're going to ignore the first two strings of that knot. I'm going to lay those completely out of the way and you're going to take the next four. So it's two from the first one, two from the second one and you do one square knot. And you continue that across taking two from each one and connecting them together. Okay, we're down to the last one. So we're going to have two left over here, just as you did at the beginning of that row. So 
So now you should have five square knots on the second row. So now you're going to continue that down, going to, here's row number two, you're going to take the inside two strings from that, so there's two strings from that one, and two strings from the next, and continue that row. So then you'll go four, three, two, and one. This is what it looks like after your first uh, point, your first triangle. So you have your row of six, five, four, three, here's two, and here's one. When you get to the one, we're going to do three square knots in a row. So there's already one done. Now we reverse the pattern. So this triangle goes down decreasing. Now we're going to increase. So we're going to take two from the last one and two from the one on top. And we'll do a square knot to make row number two here. So there will be two stitches on row two, two knots. And you take two from here and two from here. So there's row number one has one, here's two, and now just continue taking the next two from up above with the two from there and until you have no cords left which should be six stitches across. Okay, we've made it out to six on this row here. Now we decrease again, so we're going to go in, when we get down to the one, we're going to mirror this and do three uh, single knots here. So it'll go five, four, three, two, one, one, and one. So now you may have guessed it, now we do another half uh, diamond, so we do a triangle here. So that was um, a row of one, this is a row of two, taking the two from above. Now we take the two from above here and make a row of three. So depending on how tight your knots are, the size of cording you use, how tall your shade is, at this point you're going to have some flexibility to make a decision. Is this going to go clear out to six um, on your last row? Is it get down to the bottom and you stop at four? Okay, so now we're at a row of three, and we still have quite a gap here. So at this point, if yours is close um, to the, the bottom, then you're going to want to watch what I do on my edge. So I'm going to uh, keep going. That's a row of three, then a row of four, and when I get down to the wire, I'll show you what we do. Okay, there is our last triangle so we've ended with six and uh, on the bottom row and it's a really good length it gets right down to that bottom wire and so now we need to do the next row needs to go around the wire I want it to fill up the space so these corners are going to go to your post but we're going to make those square knots that go over so what we're going to do first the one I'm most concerned with is I want the center to be the right length so we're going to do this first and then we'll do our edges. Okay that works. Set it, I set the shade on a, a roll of toilet tissue so that we can see the bottom there. So this these ones are going to go to the edge. The next one we're just going to do a square knot below the, the remaining four. So we're not going to join and we're just going to go straight down. So here on this first one, put the two center cords behind your wire and now do a square knot below the wire. And pull it down nice and tight. It's not going to be pretty below the wire, so don't worry about that. We're going to get that taken care of. So kind of tight there, so now we're going to go right over the center. And we're going to continue that on the four on this one. So we're going to take the two center cords goes behind. Okay, that looks nice. So on these ones here, we're going to do four square knots. And yours might be uh, different, again, depending on your dimensions. 
but what we want to have happen is just a nice cord or a nice strand to pull it over to the bar that gives it a finished look. Now we're going to pull those to the side uh, posts. It looks really good. So since there's already a cord going down here, we need to have a little bit of strategy to make sure that when we put our cords behind, it's getting held against something. So I'm going to take the two center cords and put them behind, but I'm also going to put them behind this angle here so that it is all pulling against each other. So we have our two center cords running here. Here's our two top cords. And now we're going to do a square knot. And this will all get um, hidden when we start doing the fringe. This fringe is random lengths. So what I'm going to, I'll go ahead and finish this side. This side doesn't have one coming in on it yet. So it might be cleaner for you to see. So we're going to run the two cords behind. and do the square knot. There. So you have uh, four that are attaching to the bottom and you have your angles that'll take it out to fill up the space and just spread out the top. This one actually has the light bulb bar is there. This one here, the light bulb bar was in the center. So you'll just have to um, work with what your shade is. So to do the fringe, like I said, these are quite generous. Um, we, I, have not, I have not squared this off yet. I'm going to snip a, a generous, uh, leave a good three inches there. And to just fill in all along the bottom fold that uh, excess that you just snipped off, put it under the wire, and bring the tail through. And slide it over and fill in all of the empty spaces with this fringe. And then we will even it out and cut it off and it'll look really cute. The last step is to trim your fringe to an even length and I'm going to pick two inches and I'm actually going to use a piece of cardboard that I use for macrame um, to use as my measuring instead of trying to hold a long ruler. So the, th the challenge you're going to have is some of these are going to be going sideways. They're going to be all over the place. So just straighten out one section at a time and when they're pulled down straight, just snip off a couple at a time. I wouldn't uh, try to go all the way across and those aren't the best scissors for it but small enough to uh, be able to get a couple so just go all the way around when I'm done I'm finding that these aren't uh, gripping to each, e each other the cotton um, isn't gripping super good so I am going to use um, some stop fray I'm going to turn it upside down and just put a bead of glue right underneath all of this so that my fringe doesn't come loose over time. Okay, there is the finished project. The, the pattern is super uh, simple. I just love how it turns out. So if you have any questions or maybe ideas on how we could change up this pattern for future uh, lampshades, comment down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. DIY on the house.